Ready to go? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. Hey, Alex. It'll be easier on you to ride with us. We'll have one. worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Maybe I should check in. Very rough. 
rock and roll way to drive. Lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. The Torin Odin there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Well, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. One, two. One, two. I am feeling tonight, Cauldron Lee! <laughs> oh, been a while really since we fired on this door. <laughs> We were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your Grandpa, partner here. You signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Lake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing, mind frying act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. <laughs> hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. The show's drawing a crowd.
it. Heads up. everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? I've been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late.
nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> Thank you. 
I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Yeah. 
sorry. Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tearfest is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. You need to come to me. I'm done I'm trying to move with this leg. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The Dark Presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the Dark Place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot.
I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left, a dark forest outside Bright Falls, a gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other, haunted by my own writing, Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do, stop the horror story from coming true, stop the dark presence. Place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, it turned me into scratch. I had to get to Bright Falls. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga. Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. 
Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. This is not what I expected. windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I could get out through the back. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading.
had to find another way inside. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest palm. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti.
was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Where is everything? I can't sense anyone. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. 
This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault! I'm a failure! This is what I deserve! The story... My life, my family is just part of a book! Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. I never should have trusted these. This isn't... Casey was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual.
What is this? What's happening? What? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Logan. The horror story used her. I'm happy with you, cultist maniac! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. I spent too much time away from Logan. on. What? No. What's happening to me? That's not... No. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. God damn it! No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt! My mistakes! I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. My badge. Never should have taken this case.
No. I'm not reading anymore. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. In the arm. It's just, just part, of the, part of the job. If you're gonna keep you're gonna fussing, keep you can get the hell out. Look, 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 I was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragged me to those dinners at your house with your family. It really uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Casey trusts me. I know he does. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. What the fuck? I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't do this. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! She's dead! I didn't save her. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't! I just... I just want it to stop! Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. No, no, no! I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better, and I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. I 
can't do this. The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Saga, with a heightened survival instinct kicking in. Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the... phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. 
Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Orlin Dor walked across the rain-slicked tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. You let me do it Enough already. the phone again. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind plays 
place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces, and many names. It is a mirror, reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here, and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story. 
and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. <laughs> And I will see. Can I see? The end. Scratch! Now! <laughs> a white searing light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing will sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the...
part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light, your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. It's not a loop. It's a spiral. <laughs>